our exhibit on change blindness. Change blindness is one of the most exciting new phenomena that's been studied in the last 10, 20 years. The illusion it involves is actually the illusion that we see everything in front of us all at once. And this demonstrates that really we only see the things that we're paying attention to. What happens in this exhibit is we have two different pictures um, taken of similar street scenes. And one picture changes into the next picture in 30 frames. Between each frame, there's a very short blink of 1 30th of a second. And that blink is enough to prevent you completely from seeing the change from one picture to the next. If you take the blink out, then suddenly you notice every change as it happens. And it shows that just this very short 1 30th of a second blink is driving the entire illusion or driving the entire effect here. is called bright black and it asks the question what's the difference between black and white which seems really obvious but it's actually quite paradoxical as you'll see in this we start with just this one square up and ask people what color that square is and most people will say well obviously it's white or light gray sometimes then we put up another square next to it and suddenly you see this new square is white and the original square actually is a darker shade of gray but we put up even another square that's even lighter People see this new square as white, the intermediate one is lighter gray, and the original one is an even darker shade of gray. Finally, we add an even whiter square at the end, and everything shifts where the new white square is white, and the one that was originally white is now black. I'm standing in our monochromatic room. This room is illuminated only by low pressure sodium lights, which are special lights that emit all their energy at just one wavelength because color requires comparing the signal from different wavelengths. When everything is lit by only one wavelength, you can't see any colors. These are fully colored fake flowers I'm wearing. They probably look colorless right now. If I add white light, the white light can show that they actually are colored, but you can't see that color at all under these lights. This exhibit demonstrates the phenomenon of subjective expansion of time during unexpected events. And what happens is a very repetitive event is happening once per second, and you build a certain clock internally based on that. But when an unexpected event happens, even though it lasts entirely one second, you perceive it as lasting maybe one and a half to two seconds. So when the red ball comes on and changes size, or when the car comes and has a crash, it appears to last longer. If you watch the clock in the corner, you can monitor that everything is on for just one second and off for one second. 